Hello, everybody. I'm back for a bad audio production right here because uh, I'm set, actually sitting in a little knock room. I don't have much of a choice, but uh, I'll try to talk as well as I can. And hopefully, you guys can understand it here. Now, this is a quick little uh, how to um, remove things from startup and how to remove things from uh, the services startup. And so a lot of times your computer gets older and everyone thinks that they have to redo their computer simply because they have uh, it's slowing down. Well, a lot of the times, you know, and, and obviously you should be running a good antivirus and I run ESET just to uh, stay on the good side of things. And so to, to, this is a, a quick little thing and everyone can do this. If you have Windows, it doesn't matter which version of Windows you have. It doesn't matter. Um, it's all the same when you when you do this. Um, it's a, variations are different in Windows 8, which is a horrible OS, but, you know, we'll get through it. So. The, there's two two different things. There's a the task list, and then there's also a thing called MS Config, and that is Michael, Sam, Charlie, Oscar, Nancy, Fido, Igloo, Gopher. So MS Config, and so when you pop in MS Config, you're going to get something like this. Yours will probably be like normal startup. Um, I've definitely been here before. And the first place I always go is services, and just to do a quick nitty gritty, uh, let's get it done kind of quick thing. I hide all the Microsoft services and I start looking through this thing and I'm like, wow, you know, this thing is crazy. And you can see the status. They're all stopped. Yours will probably be all running. And so right out of the gate, um, you know, what you would want to do is, is if they were running, um, you would just go through and you would check them like this. You pop through there. There's only a few things that, that technically you really need. Um, let's just go through this one. Like Adobe Acrobat update service. That's garbage. You know, she'd have that, that, that should never be running on a machine. Um, it is good to have it because if you don't do updates, and I'm, I guess I'm assuming that you don't do updates um, or you do do updates and, and you understand that the process, but you always got to keep your, your system set up and rocking. Um, if you don't, you're going to get owned. Um, and I guess that's the only reason that you would want to have a startup set up like this. Um, I take all my stuff off like this. Um, everything, including even the Citrix stuff. Um I don't leave any of the Bluetooth stuff on. I don't leave Bonjour on. QuickBooks always throws stuff in there. Dale always throws the garbage in there. And what we're doing is we're not deleting the stuff. We're just not running it at startup. So the worst case scenario is something doesn't work is you go back in here and you do it all again. So he said, I'm leaving on, obviously. Um, like the Intel side of things, that's essentially just a, a graphic showing you your, your Ethernet card is working. Google doesn't need to be updating all this stuff right here and so boom you and you're going to be checking it because yours is going to be running and then you're going to click disable all uh, i love windows windows is a fine fine operating system <clears throat> yeah sarcasm there lots of it so anyway you're going to chop all this off intel's good nuke it um and this isn't always the same i'm just kind of doing a hell mary side on this so everybody go out for a pass I don't want Mozilla stuff going on. I don't want more QuickBooks garbage going on. And if you look at this, does this stuff really need to be running in your startup? SpyBot, I don't like even SpyBot being on because it's not as great as it used to be. SolidWorks, Synergy, uh, TeamViewer, all this stuff like right there. See, the only thing you're going to leave on is Sandboxy, which which I just gave a little uh, demo on the last video I did. Um, and so you're essentially going to leave one, two. There's two things on right there. And one should be your antivirus and one should be your, your sandbox. And, and antivirus is going to be either AVG, a Symantec, you know, it all depends. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on, boom, disable all. But considering that I have already um, done that, I'm not going to do that. Now, the, that takes care of the services. Now, there's another spot here and it says, you know, what's up with the startup on this? And so what is happening here is besides this thing popping up in, in my video is that um, you're going to click on the open task manager and rock this out like this. And so everything here that's running, and again, this is all going to be stuff I already pulled down, but like Adobe, it has yet another uh, piece of the Adobe uh, Acrobat sitting there reading. All the stuff you can disable, and it's it's in, it says enable because I've been here before, and I've disabled it all. So I disabled that, disabled that, disabled that. Classic start menu, I can't do that because uh, then you're lost in Windows 8 land, and I believe you lose IQ points the more you work with Windows 8. 
So the control launcher, Brother Industries, that's a printer stuff that I would pull that all off there. The, I'm leaving ESET on there. Status is disabled. We don't want that disabled. We want it enabled because we want, I guess I've been too aggressive on that. Uh, Gaiazo, I wanted that enabled because that's been a good friend to me um, as far as a, a good uh, capture the, the desktop and send it away. So all the stuff like right here, I just I disable it all. I, I go for the, the Hail Mary pass first, then I come back around and see what doesn't work. And I, I understand that you guys are probably a little more apprehensive, you know, for the for the earlier guys. But um, it's not as it's not as tough as it seems. Disable the Java stuff. Always do that. Um, all this stuff into it and blah, blah, blah. The only thing I have left here, Realtek Audio Manager. I don't even want that because it, I'll, I'll just go with the little speaker that, that it comes with. Um, Skype, of course, that's unfortunately I have to run that. Keep my sandboxy going, which is good. Um, if you don't know what it is and it looks fairly important, maybe, I know what that is. That's SolidWorks. Maybe you want to keep it, but, but probably not. And Spybot, I don't want that thing running. And that's it. In a bag of uh, nuts and a bag of uh, computer parts, we have it down. And this is our video on how to make your computer boot up much faster and get rid of the garbage that is plaguing everyday computing. And with that, sayonara.